Hi Pisces. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Accurate AF Tarot. This reading is for the 15th through the 31st of uh, January. This is a love reading for both couples and singles. If you guys haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you hit that uh, notification bell to be notified when I put out new content. Um, with that being said, please head over um, and check out my best friend, Pink Pineapple Tarot. She is an amazing reader and um, absolutely stunning. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So first I'm gonna do um, Pisces couples. What's the overall energy for Pisces couples, 15th through the 31st? Okay. Pisces couples, it's a situation at hand. Okay. causing this issue. Pisces couples. What's an external influence? Pisces couples. What's the outcome for the 15th through the 31st for Pisces couples? Ooh, somebody's bossing up and making a decision. I'm here for that. I think that you guys right now are in deep thought, obviously. Uh, you guys are on the bottom and also um, Ace of Swords on the top. So I feel like you guys are in heavy thought um, this next couple weeks. There's something um, surrounding what makes you guys happy and moving towards that and kind of keeping your eye on the prize, okay? So I'm gonna clarify these and then we'll go ahead and get into your reading. Why is this overall situation with Pisces couples? Strength. What are they leaving? Ten of Wands. What are they going towards? The star. So you guys definitely could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. Um, that's coming up very, very strong. Um, without a doubt. Or an Aquarius. Okay. Um, <clears throat> again, I think that you guys are having a lot of clarity this week. What is this situation? situation okay, you guys have the magician. Why is this the cause? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Why is this external? Ten of Swords. Okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, so... I feel like you guys definitely have been in a state where you have a lot of options and you're trying to figure out what's best. Um, that's clear. You guys are, I feel like, in a place where you don't want to fight anymore. I think that you know things in your relationship have probably progressed a little bit slowly, slowly than what you, slower than what you like. And you know that you have to um, have some type of action in order for there to be any happiness uh, for the both of you. So I definitely feel like you guys are being strong and leaving behind, um, you know, the burden, the arguments, just anything that's caused you like aggression. And you guys are really fixated on your star. So you guys are really fixated on what your hopes and your dreams are. Um, you're in a place where, you know, you know what you want. And you're very hopeful at this moment that you can have that, which I think is really, really pretty. Now, for your guys' current situation, you have the Ten of Cups with the Magician. So, obviously, you know, you guys are manifesting something, you know, a happy home. And, you know, home is where you guys, you know, tend to be the happiest. At least this is what it's showing. And it's saying, like, because of what you've wanted and because of what you've wished for... You know, something that I think has caused you a lot of like heartache and pain and frustration. It's like that's finally, you know, being answered and now it's no longer hope, but you're taking it into your own hands and you're making, you know, your own happiness with this person. Okay. I do feel like, again, I think that this was a long, slow road for you because it takes a little bit of time for you to actually make up your mind before, you know, choosing, yes, this is what I want to do, or yes, this is what I don't. I do feel like there was a little bit of stalling either on your end or your couple's end 
just because I think that they just wanted to see like where it would go to. It's like, where is this going? How is this going to grow? How is this going to benefit us? Is this going to benefit us, you know, financially? Is this going to benefit us, you know, emotionally? You know, it's very beautiful how, how this is kind of like transpiring. And I really feel like it's because you've wanted something for so long and now it's coming to you. So it's all about taking the time to, to really, really think about, you know, what makes you happy. I do definitely feel like somebody said something that puts you in a ten of swords moment where you were like, ow, that hurt for whatever reason. And maybe it wasn't very harsh. Maybe this person was saying it because they love you and they just wanted you to understand like how much, you know, you mean to them. But for whatever reason, you kind of took it like it was a stab at your heart when in reality, that's just not the case. Um, but this week is really, really about kind of leaving behind, I feel like, the past and moving towards something new, towards something clear. You're very clear with what you want this week. So or this next couple weeks. So I think that that's really, really beautiful. Now, your outcome is actually the emperor. Now, um, if you guys want to know more about this, go ahead and click on the Vimeo link below and uh, we'll go in more depth about what the emperor means. Um, so in Vimeo, we're going to ask, what are they thinking? What do they want? What are their next actions towards you? What is their apprehension, your advice, and the best possible outcome? But I definitely think that you know, you leaving behind the negativity is going to create a, a situation of happiness and, you know, no longer give you this confusion. There's only so long, Pisces, you can throw yourself into, you know, working before, you know, your emotions come to a boil. So with that being said, hopefully that resonated. If so, go ahead and click on the Vimeo link below. Okay. So for Pisces singles, 15th through the 31st, how's it going? Pisces singles, 15th through the 31st. Okay, listen, I need to ask my cards before I start popping stuff up. Okay, so overall energy for Pisces singles. Okay, so there's definitely an ending here. Something's ending, but I don't always take it as a bad thing. Like it could be definitely something dope, right? So let's not get all freaked out. Uh, what's the situation for Pisces singles? Okay, high priestess. All right, what's the cause of this issue? What is the cause of this issue? Okay. Wow, you guys are in your head. Okay, what's an external influence? Queen of Wands. Okay, and what's the outcome for Pisces singles? Okay, two of cups. Here you guys are. So you guys definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus, um, a Libra, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini. Um, I feel like you guys right now are not talking to somebody or you guys are in a place where things really aren't great. Okay. I do want to throw that out. I think that you want them to come back around, but you're a little bit apprehensive with how to make that move. Okay. It's like, you're kind of like, I want to see them and you're waiting to see them. You guys could be far away from one another. Um, but something's definitely stopping you. And I feel like it's this queen of wands here, which could possibly be, um, you know, a relationship from the past or something like that. But let's go ahead and clarify this so I can give you some more information, okay? Why is death here? It's the overall situation. Ten of Swords, okay? What's coming from this Ten of Swords? The Ace of Cups. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Like, something that hurt, but like, what's coming from it, right? We have all this hurt and shit, but what's coming? It's the Ace of Cups, okay? What's being hidden here? Why is this situation being hidden? Three of Swords, okay. You guys are heartbroken over something. And the Sun. Okay. Why is this here? Why are they in their head? Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Okay. What is their feelings on this Queen of Wands? Okay. Four of Swords. Okay, so 
First of all, you guys are really, really stuck and in your head about making the right decision. What's right for you guys? Like, what's the right thing for your home, for your family? Um, what's best for you, right? You guys are really stuck in a, in, in a situation where it's like... <sighs> it makes me somewhat sad only because I can see here that it's like... There's two different situations going on, right? You have the two of pentacles here. So you have situation one, right? Which is a situation that you've been in for a long time. And this situation causes you nothing but ten of swords. It causes you nothing but hurt and anguish. You know what I mean? Like if you take a look, like these cards are very lined up. You have the ace of cups, the sun, and judgment, two of cups, right? Down here you have ten of swords, three of swords, two of pentacles, four of swords. This person that you're currently dealing with or that you're back and forth with, this could be, you know, again, um, a fire energy. The, now, if you're a man, maybe this is your uh, child's mother. If you're a female, you know, this could be um, the person you're dealing with. This could be their significant other that they're not talking to, but she's still somewhat in the picture here. Um, it's definitely an energy of making a choice here. It's like, you know, I feel like you guys are not expressing how much this is hurting you, not being with this person that you actually really love because they make you happy and they make you feel like, you know, you're on top of the world and they make things brighter for you. But for whatever reason, it's like you pretend like that's not happening and all that's happening to you is this three of swords, right? It's like trying to break free from the negativity, but... Because the negativity is all you guys have had, like, up until this point almost. It's like, you guys don't know anything else, right? Um, this is, this, this three of swords is, is happening because you're in deep thought about what you're juggling. You know, what makes you happy? Maybe you're on some type of platform where people see you or people know you. So it's feeling judged, you know, if this person is left behind or maybe it's it's this person that's causing, you know, you to make a choice, right? Um, but it's definitely something that's weighing very heavily on you. And it's a mental, it's mentally heavy. It's not necessarily like emotionally heavy, but it's very mentally heavy for you. It's almost like being stuck in this situation with this Queen of Wands. It feels like death. And I know that sounds crazy, but... It's like you feel like you're alone just watching the clock and the clock is going by like super slow. And I, I, I don't know. I just don't necessarily think that you guys can progress without understanding that you need some forward movement. And unless you pull the trigger on what makes you happy, like what comes after death and the Ten of Swords is the Ace of Cups. It's this love, right? Um, after the shield is revealed, right? After the shield is lifted or the veil is lifted, you have the sun. It's happiness. Um, after you're done juggling, it's it's judgment. It's it's something coming back around that I think that you really, really want. And I think it's something that you, you physically need. So with that being said, your guys' outcome is the two of cups. So with all this fuckery right here, like the fact that we have the two of cups is beautiful because that definitely means that something is changing. Something is transpiring. Something is, something happens here. A decision is made. And if you guys want to find out what happens with this two of cups, uh, go ahead and follow me over to Vimeo. Uh, the link will be down below. And Vimeo, we're going to be looking at what are they thinking? What do they want? Their next action towards you and uh, what they're apprehensive about, your advice and the best possible outcome. Okay. So with that being said, Pisces, let's go ahead and pull a black mirror card. This is for Pisces uh, as a whole. Kind of the yin-yang effect, right? You can't have too much good without a little bit of bad, too much bad and no good, right? So Pis Pisces, January 15th through the 31st. Pisces, 15th through the 31st. Pisces, okay, temple of my own body, okay? So let me read you the sentence that's associated with this card because um, I feel like that describes it better than I can. I feel I am not worth enough. Okay. So this card is about the darkness in the whole body. And ultimately, you know, this could be like for different religions or, you know, feeling captured by 
you know, sex, color, religion, uh, what, what's the right thing to do. But ultimately, like, it's trapping you, like, with inside of your own body, right? And it's almost like poison, okay? So our body is a temple, and um, we can shower and rinse our chin and feel proud, but it's our body and it's ours. So this is saying, like, you can continue to be, you know, held by the compounds of, you know, <laughs> your own mind, or you can let go and be happy. And, like, whatever you want is ultimately here because it's your body, okay? So with that being said, Pisces, thank you so much. And for those of you that are coming over to Vimeo, come on down and um, I will see you there until uh, the first. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.